Hello friends, welcome back. I've got a tip for you today in Luminar Neo, which is frankly applicable to any editor that you use, whether it's Lightroom, On One, Photoshop, etc. And that tip is about masking. If you've been here before, you know that I am a huge fan of masking and I consider it the absolute most important and critical skill to make your photos better. But there's a component of masking that makes it one of the most critical skills, and I, I consider it the most critical component of masking. That's what we're doing in this video. Let's get going. I've got this super exciting gray sheet of paper. Now, uh, if you haven't yet taken my Luminar Neo Masking Masterclass, um, this will be new to you, but if you have taken it, this will be familiar, and that is because I use this as a really good example of how you can demonstrate masking. So masking, I have a gray sheet of paper that I turn black by pulling the exposure down to zero. And I'm gonna go into brush. And what I wanna talk about here is this softness slider, also known as feathering, or uh, what I call the transition zone. This is basically smoothing out the edges of your mask. Let me show you why that is important. I'm gonna make my mouse really big. I'm gonna go ahead and paint this adjustment in like that. And now you can see that it's really dark in the center and then it kind of fades and transitions smoothly into the other tonal areas to where it eventually fades into nothing. Let me show you the difference between doing that and doing it with uh, a zero softness brush, what we would call a hard brush. And the difference, as you can see, is incredibly visible. And that is the edges here on this one are what I call a hard edge, right? It's very abrupt, which means whatever you're painting in, this is when you're masking, whenever you're painting in, you're gonna have an absolute incredibly visible fall off from whatever you paint in to what's not painted. That means it's gonna be very obvious to your viewer that you've done some editing in some areas and not in others. Whereas if you've done it here with uh, a soft brush, and I recommend softness at 100 just about all the time, uh, with the soft brush, you're not gonna notice that. I'm gonna jump into a photo and show you how this looks on a real image. Okay, I've got this image here, which is shot in Madeira on the Luminar tour uh, last year. Before and after, before and after, that was uh, develop raw and super contrast, just balancing out the light. And I'm gonna do something that I don't really recommend doing, but I'm doing it because it makes it super visible. And that is going into Accent AI and using that at 100. I don't recommend doing that, but this is gonna illustrate the importance of feathering or blending or transitioning or smoothing out the edges of your mask. And that is because this will be super, super visible. So let's say you wanna come in and apply a brush. Let's say, I'm gonna make this bigger so that you can see it better. Let's say I wanna paint some of this area here in the middle, and I'm just making a big streak of that. And I do it at softness 100. You almost can't tell that I did that uh, application of Accent AI, and you definitely cannot tell that it's at 100. Now, let me show you this with a hard edge mask. So Accent AI at 100, mask, brush, softness of zero, same size brush. If I paint you the same uh, spot down the center, you can see these edges are just absolutely visible. Now you're thinking, hey, Jim, I'm not gonna go to 100 even if I have a hard brush, and that's true, you're not. However, I wanna point out that um, I'm using 100 on Accent AI, which you would probably never do, but what you will do is use Accent AI and then Color Harmony and then Golden Hour and then something else. So you start to stack these tools one on top of the other, on top of the other, on top of the other. And if you're using a hard edge brush, you're gonna get, end up getting a similar result, which is your difference between what you've masked and what you haven't, super visible, which as you can tell, it just looks dumb. It doesn't even work, right? So that's the importance of having this soft edge brush. That's why I like softness at 100. Now, I'm gonna put this uh, at 100 again on Accent AI, and this time I'm gonna go, instead of with a brush, I'm gonna do this with a linear gradient because it's the absolute same idea. So a linear gradient with softness uh, really large, right? That's this transitional area. This entire area is where I'm fading that edge, smoothing it out, creating that transitional zone. That entire area is where it's fading. And so even at 100, you can't really notice, right? Before and after, before and after. It's a massive, massive difference compared to, whoops, let me go over here erase that so we'll get rid of it. You can see the super contrast and develop raw that I had done prior to making this video at 100 and go into masking and linear gradient. And let's say I bring this down to here about like that. I got it crooked, but that's okay. 
Um, I'm going to have zero transition, meaning it's a hard stop. And you're going to notice really easily I've got a line across the water. So it just makes no sense to not feather. And it's the same regardless of the type of masking that you're using, right? So I can do the same thing with a linear, excuse me, with a radial gradient. Let's say I want an area in the center to have an accent AI of 100. There you go. Now, you can start to see some of that around these edges because it's such a high amount before and after, but you can't see that hard edge line and hard edge line, uh, accent 100, radial gradient. Oops, uh, I'm going to do that, but I'm going to make it uh, zero on the feathering, right? So you're just going to have a hard circle there. And let me show you that. Again, it makes no sense. So that's why it's super important. And you can do this on lots of different kinds of masks. You can do this on the brush, the linear, the radial, and luminosity mask. It's incredibly important. It makes a huge difference in the masks that you apply to your photos. So don't waste your time masking if you don't use feathering, except in some rare cases. But otherwise, you're going to end up losing control of the image and you're masking in the first place because you want control of your image. So keep that in mind. That's a quick tip for you. Hope it gives you some insights. Thanks for watching, my friends. I'll be back soon. Check out my free ebook about Luminar Neo at the link below. And I'll be back soon. You guys take care. And until next time, adios.